Hey VC, I'm back with another big edition of The Mail. Got two packages in the mail today, uh, some pretty cool stuff, so we'll get right into it. Uh, the first package had four records because the seller had a bunch of them listed, and I figured I'd just buy a couple of them so I could get combined shipping. I uh, think it cost me like 20 bucks total, which was not bad at all. Uh, the first one is Jimi Hendrix, Roots of Hendrix. Uh, and this is a pretty good album. I'd never heard it before, but after I got it today, I listened to the whole album, and it's really good. Uh, so pick that up for like a dollar twenty-five, I think. Uh, and then I got a copy of Fraley's Comet Second Sighting. I think this is their second album. I haven't listened to a whole lot of Ace's music with Fraley's Comet, but uh, I've heard it's good. So I figured I'd pick that up. It cost me like three bucks. It's a gold stamp promo uh, with the original hype sticker, and it is on the Mega Force label with the original inner sleeve. So definitely looking forward to checking that out. And then another album I haven't heard before, uh, probably a shocker to most of you guys out there, Judas Priest, Sin After Sin. This cost me like six fifty, which wasn't bad at all. Uh, I have heard this is a really good album, I just haven't listened to it uh, for some reason or another. Um, yeah, this is a beautiful copy, I mean it's in great shape for being from 1977 I believe. Um, and this is on the Columbia label. I believe it's an original press. So that's that. And then the last album is a sealed album. It is a copy of Helix's album Wild in the Streets. And Greg the Egg, Blackmore Rules, sent me a copy of this album on cassette in the last big edition of The Mail that he sent me along with this cool killer dwarf shirt. Uh, so I figured I'd wear that today. Uh, but yeah, this is sealed, so I will be doing a sealed or revealed right after this to bust this open and give this a listen. I did listen to the cassette, and this album rocked, uh, but can't wait to listen to it on vinyl. Then the last album, one I've needed for a while, and this pretty much completes my Rory Gallagher collection as of right now. I believe I need one more original pressing, and I will have all original pressings of all of his albums. Uh, been looking for a copy of this for a while, uh, and if you watch my videos about a month ago, picked up a reissued copy of this album because I couldn't find a copy for cheap enough, uh, but then this one popped up on eBay and I was the only bidder at like 10 bucks, so this cost me, I'm going to say $14 with shipping and everything. Tastes live at the Isle of Wight, and this is an original German pressing in beautiful shape. I mean, I've seen copies of this that are way beat up, and this one is in great shape. It's got some creasing on it, but nothing too bad. Uh, definitely happy to add this to my collection. Like I said, the record itself looks unplayed. It really does. This is one of the nicest albums I've seen. Uh, so for $14, definitely happy to add that to my collection. Um, so yeah, need one more original album, and I will have his complete discography, all original, including his taste stuff. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon.